you know, it's, I was watching Chris at the radio show last night and just seeing how comfortable he was, you know, with a mic in front of him compared to when he first got here. He's still relatively quiet, uh, but he's much more, uh, much more of a leader in the locker room, uh, much more jovial and outgoing, uh, you know, with the guys. He, he's just one of those type of personalities. Once he has to get comfortable with you before he can open up. And so, you know, we were texting back and forth after the radio show last night, and I just tell him how proud I was, you know, of his of his progress and development. Um, and you know, it's it's it's. Why I do what I do, you know, kind of get into the business to, at least I did, I got into the business to just help out my old high school and have some, had a, uh, a passion for wanting to see guys, you know, uh, grow up and help them, you know, develop a little bit. And, and Chris having him for three years and seeing that is, is pretty rewarding. Um, you know, bas basketball is what it is, uh, but there's a larger picture in place that that kind of gives you satisfaction. You know, I think about this team in general, uh, when you go through tough times, it's really hard to go through tough times if you gotta deal with a lot of extra nonsense. Um, but we haven't had that, you know, uh, knock on wood. And, you know, we've been pretty pretty fortunate and blessed to have good kids around that, uh, that have buy-in. You know, I think when you have buy-in, you got a chance to, to finish strong, and then you got a chance to, to grow, and then, and uh, you know, win games, and you know, at the end of the day, make me feel good about why why I do what I do.